And ugh, it's like. <laughs> Today. I'm Jay Kim and here is <laughs> I'm Kaya Boy. She's African-American yes. and I invited her today because I wanted to interview African-Americans so much. I'm thank really you. excited to be here so All thank right. you for inviting me Jay. I don't know your audience so <laughs> this is my time to say hello and I hope you guys enjoy this video as well. So at first can you introduce yourself? Yes, why not? My name is Kaya Boyd. I am from America, Detroit, Michigan. I've been living in Korea since... Well, I first came here in 2015, so I just tell people 2015. Whoa. <laughs> and I am quite a few things here. I'm a singer in Korea. I'm a model. Um, an, an actress. I'm also... Uh, actress too? Yes. <gasps> That's so cool. I'm also kind of like a student because I go to school online. And I'm a self study Korean learner. Wow. And there's so many things happening in my mind right now, oh <laughs> so I keep forgetting. <laughs> Why did you come to Korea? Well, I came to Korea because I always tell people that my answer is I was kind of inspired by K-pop, but I don't really think that that was the uh -huh. the real reason. I think it was because I felt like something in my life was missing. Oh. And it wasn't K-pop that was going to solve that, but I felt like some kind of independence and some kind of like life journey that I was on, just searching for a purpose. Ooh. And it helped me to see the world and mm -hmm. kind of see what other people see when they look at me, to see how the rest of the world operates. I wanted to kind of just find my place, and that's why I came to Korea. K-pop helped that. Which group do you? EXO. Oh, please remember. <laughs> so my name is Kaya. Kaya, Kai. <laughs> Oh my god, he oh, can really dance cool. so well! The next question is, have you ever dated a Korean guy and is there any differences compared to American? Uh, the, to answer that question, yes, yeah. I have dated a Korean guy before and there are quite a bit of differences culturally and mannerisms and different things like that compared to Korean guys. Uh -huh. Definitely a lot going on there. Uh, the language barrier, if you're not great at Korean, but another problem, a big huge problem is the cultural difference. Not just between American culture, but African American culture. Mm. This is another world, so I find that a lot of Korean men can understand mm. or can't really comprehend African American culture. Sometimes it's unintentional, but they can be kind of disrespectful. Mm. For example, what kind of? Oh yes, so like hair, like African American oh. hair culture. Uh -huh. People in general don't know too much about like African hair. So the whole touching, the why does your hair do this? Why don't you straighten it? Why is it like this? They, it, it's, it's really insensitive. It's and it's really hard to explain these kinds of things. I find that is uh -huh. really difficult for African American oh. women or African women. I think your hair is now like it's gorgeous. Oh it's not. no, it's and that's that's the part. It's so hard to explain like how my hair is. Yeah. But I uh, thank you. I appreciate that. I invite her because I want to talk about prejudice about African American in Korea. Have you ever heard the word "hut kyung" and "hut duna"? No, I've never yeah, like, heard. Like "hut brother" and "hut sister." Oh wait, no, you're right. I'm yeah. sorry. I I. I've never heard hook kyung, mm -hmm. but I've heard hook nuna. How do you think about that word? I just want to say I hate those words. I hear them and I instantly feel like kind of disgusted. Mm -hmm. I just don't feel like they have a good meaning behind it. I've never heard someone actually say it to me. I've just heard it in between conversations. Yeah, sure. Mm -hmm. It's so common word. I will tell you what does the word mean. It's like Korean people think black people are physically superior, so it's kind of respect word, but it's so much racism. Many Koreans don't notice that. It this racism word so um, it could be a group of students yeah, talking right, maybe right, right. or talking amongst themselves mm -hmm. and I've heard this word spoken mm -hmm. and a lot of the times they underestimate foreigners ability to understand mm -hmm. or yeah, to right. speak Korean mm -hmm. so I will say something like don't be disrespectful like that's, mm -hmm. that's yeah. gross yeah don't use that word don't ever use it and if yeah, you use it in front of me it's a problem <laughs> There's gonna be a fight. If they accept that it's uncomfortable and it's not unrespectful, then you never use that word. I That's, agree, definitely. Yeah, sure. For example, oh, I love your tiny single eye, so oh, you look like the adorable monkeys feel like that, right? <laughs> Same thing. Sometimes I've told my Korean friends like I love the way your eyes shape. I'll say like I love your eyes like they're so cute. I'm not trying to be offensive. I swear. I, I'm not being offensive. I hope not. Please. <laughs> I'm trying to respect. Okay, I like okay. your eye shape. I promise. Oh, adorable monkeys. Oh my god. I hope no one ever says that. I will never say that. Okay, so another prejudice Korean people think Black people are good at singing and rapping and dancing and sports. Yeah, so how do you think about that? Do they really good at uh, And ugh, it's like... <laughs> <laughs> These questions are so funny 
because they really relate to me and I, I, I like the question sheet that you've prepared oh, okay, for me. Okay. As far as black people being like superior and all these things, I'm not one to say that. First of all, like I guess that that's considered a compliment to black people, but when I listen to this, these kinds of things, it sounds more like a stereotype. Mm. Like we're good at dancing and singing and sports and all these things. Now, don't get me wrong. This is true. <laughs> <laughs> But it's not everybody, okay? Don't get me on the street and say, oh, I think you're a dancer. What? Not just dancer, they'll say, I think you can twerk. Like, yeah. they will say oh. disgusting things like this. I will get so yeah. angry, like, yeah. what? Why? Oh, sorry, never mind. Oh, yeah, because you realize how ignorant you sound. Mm. Like, this is your way of complimenting African people or African American people, but it's not a compliment. It's a stereotype and it's a prejudice. It's really weird and uncomfortable. Mm. Do not just assume I can sing because of my skin color or I can dance or mm -hmm. do all of these things because of my skin color. I suck at sports. Do not ask me to play anything. Honestly, that's the worst thing. When mm -hmm. anyone calls me Beyonce or Nicki Minaj, like I think when they say Beyonce, you're only saying because of my skin color and that makes me angry. When you say Nicki Minaj, you're saying because of my body and mm -hmm. that's disgusting. So don't compare another black person to another black person yeah, that you've right. seen on TV. Mm -hmm. We don't look the same. We're not all the same. Don't do that to us. Yeah. You look like Sai. Can, oh. can you dance Gangnam Style? Can you style? do Gangnam Style? <laughs> That's disgusting. Don't do that. We don't do that to you. Don't do that to us. I went Dorebang last week with my black friend and she was so bad. <laughs> Your ears are like, ah! Oh, yeah, yeah. This question is important. Do you think there is still racism in America? Oh, definitely. Against okay. black. Definitely. That's not going away anytime soon. Or ever. There's definitely racism against black people in America. There's way too many issues that are still present, that are happening in front of the media and, you know, not in front of the media. But people don't really like to talk about these things because it makes them uncomfortable. Have you ever experienced that? Oh, yes, of course. Oh. I chuckle because it's like, oh, I used to, before it used to really make me feel, it used to make me feel sad. And there was a point in my life where, honestly speaking, I didn't want to be black anymore. That's felt, so sad. I felt this when I was a lot younger. I, there was a time in my life where I was just kind of like, oh, I wish I wasn't black. Like, mm. I don't want to have to go through these things or deal with being looked at a certain kind of way. And I would think this, but over the last good five years of my life, four years of my life, I've gotten some awakening and I've learned so much about myself and I've learned I don't want to change for anyone just because people don't want to accept me like because of the color of my skin. That's your problem, that's not yeah. mine. And if you don't accept me, that's fine. I'm not here to please you. I'm here to live my life and be happy. So, hi. Yeah. I like that. How about Korea? Have you ever experienced any discrimination because of your skin color in Korea? Yes. Oh. Sadly, yes. Mm -hmm. But it's honestly, it's not surprising in mm -hmm. a society where the lighter, the paler your skin is, the more you're accepted mm -hmm. as beautiful. Mm -hmm. So yes, I've experienced it quite a bit. Even dealing with like entertainment, um, I noticed that some of the jobs that I went for with like modeling mm -hmm. and even acting, they would pick me based on my skill and things like that. And they'd say, you're, you're really good and we want you to be like the star of the show, but we have someone who is white and even though their skills aren't as matched with yours, they look the part. And I've gotten turned down for quite a few things solely based on my skin color because it wasn't white enough for them. I deal with it from time to time with not so good people like in some places where they will say or do something against me and it makes me uncomfortable. But it doesn't really bother me as much anymore because I've had to deal with this for pretty much all of my life. So you gotta develop some tough skin. Oh. So it's cool. Yeah, I just I hope that one day things in Korea will change to where I don't yeah, have to sure. feel nervous about being, you know, myself. Yeah, yeah. If you want to be respect, you should respect other people first. That's so true. Korean people are generally nice to other foreigners and other people, but they don't know what is the problem usually. So I don't know. I can ask this, but it's mm, okay. For me, I think black girls are so beautiful, like Beyonce. Oh, like thank you. Minas. What do you think about the beauty of black people? I think all black people are beautiful. I think black women no doubt like there's no arguing there what makes black women so great what makes us so great is that if we want to we can wear our hair straight if we want to wear our hair naturally curly we oh. just wash it and it's done it's naturally curly oh. if we want to do we can do anything we want with our hair our clothes
wrinkles, our skin, everything. And I say our skin because that's what I like about being brown because I don't know what the way makeup goes on, the way it glows on our skin, just my skin in general, I love it. And I love all shades of black women. Black men are awesome as well. Like when black men go to all of these other countries, people are either fascinated or scared. And it makes me, it makes me feel really sad for these people who fear black men just because of what they see on them in media. But black men are freaking cool to me because yeah. when I go to another country and I see a black man, in a way I feel protected. Like mm -hmm. I feel like, oh, okay, cool. Yeah. Like my really, people are here. <laughs> they have really good vibes. I can make friends with almost any black male, black female that just comes my way. Oh, I love it. I think maybe it's a little bit stupid question. Do you proud that you're African-American? <laughs> I'm definitely proud to be African American. I have no choice. It's not like I can change my skin. <laughs> I can't change myself compared to how I felt years ago about being myself. I definitely had some identity issues and me and my blackness, we worked it out. Oh. And I love exactly who I am. I love being black. I love that black people are getting better representation uh -huh. throughout entire world, through the media, mm -hmm. th through some things, like even with the Marvel movie with Black Panther and that Get Out movie. I love that. Mm -hmm. That's so cool, right? Yes. Get Out played in Korea and they're invite they're just they're doing a good job by putting more black people in in a good light and then movies and in front of people who don't have much experience with black. Mm -hmm. Like I'm proud of that and I'm happy to be black, not just for those reasons, but because I don't think I was meant to have an easy life. I feel like I had to go through some hardships from being African American and I still have a lot more to learn and I want to educate people and kind of give people the right idea. Like, I don't want to misrepresent African. I love my people. Oh, I'm so happy that you proud of yourself. I'm yeah. proud that I'm Korean too. Love yourself. BTS. BTS. Oh, <laughs> <yes. laughs> so it's the last question. Mm -hmm. If there are people who are afraid to come to Korea, who are afraid that their skin color? Can you tell anything for them? Okay, so I would say if you're afraid to come to Korea because you think that your skin or your ethnicity will be a problem, mm -hmm. don't be. Because one thing I can say is Korean racism is a little different from American racism. I'm talking about experience-wise. Like when I experience racism in America, I feel like I take it more personally. When I experience racism in Korea, it's kind of like, eh, meh, just brush it off. So I think that if you came to Korea, you would definitely enjoy it. There's so many lovely things about Korea that I love and the people are great. The food is wonderful. Even the culture, their, their culture is really interesting. It's different, but it's interesting and it's, it's not too bad to adjust to. So I would say definitely give Korea a try. And if you encounter ignorant people or people that just give you a hard time, ignore them. And I know that sounds easier said than done, but ignore them and go about your life and, you know, prove to them, prove to yourself that you're better than that. They don't define you. Who cares? So one one teeny person's thinking, oh, your skin color. So what? Uh, yeah, so what? Oh, well, yeah. can still, yeah. since you have these stereotypes, I can still dance and yeah. sing and do all still, these things. Yeah, I can still beautiful and wonderful. <laughs> So thank you for answering me the, all the questions. It was really good answer and I'm so impressed about that. And I'm so glad yeah. that I could kind of educate and give my responses on that. Because I feel like there's not a, a lot of African-American representation here. So I'm so happy I could good. do that. I will come back with another content. So bye. thank you. Bye bye. Bye, -bye. bye everyone. Bye bye. Happy to meet you. <laughs> Something good. That yeah. one looks great. I'm probably going to steal that one for my.